Then, can you hear me? I did it again. We don't go. We again. We are 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 again. All right, great people. All right, great people. Freedom fighters. Lovers of freedom are great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOV Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Namti Okukan, where we always set the record straight. My name's all Mazo Kenaukechukun, known as the Bia Franchise Machinek, the general. My great people, I hope every one of you understand what is going on. And now, I hope every one of you understand what I have been saying about Ojo Zokalo. I said this to our people, but some of us don't even understand what I'm talking about. And I'm about to repeat it again today. I said, during 1967 to 1970, Fulani Alamajiri pregnanted a lot of our people. They pregnanted a lot of our people, and all Joseph Carlo is part of them. Now you see the video. Now you understand what poverty is doing to our people in Biafra land. They have turned our land to desert. Where the oils, mineral resources, well educated people came from, and today they have turned the land into desert. And full and land now is milk and honey. I want you people to know that history will keep on repeating itself. History will keep on repeating itself. Now you see it and you listen it. You understand what they are saying. A 13 years old minor and 14 years old. They are going to full and they are tutoring them. They are tutoring them. You heard it what they said. Hanaga Aladi. And I want you people to understand. That is why I keep on saying this. We are fighting different phases of war. We are fighting different phases of war. That is why you can see somebody like all Jews or Carlo speaking evil. You thought or you think that is your brother. You don't even know that all Jews or Carlo is a fallen. There's something I want you people to understand on this short video of our little minor teenagers. I don't know which one to call them. Yeah, am I going to call them minor or teenager? These people are minor, 13 years and 14. They don't even, they are not even a teenager. They are minor. Which is, when we are telling you people that full and name are pedophile, all of them, they are pedophile. Now you begin to understand it. They are all pedophile. But there's something I want you people to understand. Because I always tell my people, if you know the root of your problem, that is when you will begin to solve it. Imagine now that these 13 years and 14 years, and I don't know the age of the other one. Imagine these people get pregnant. Because of poverty, they are going to Aosa Fulani, make them, they torture them. Because of poverty. You, you, now you begin to understand, ask yourself what our land have turned into. Fulani have turned our land upside down. They have turned our land to, they have, you know, make our people, they have turned our people to nothing. They have turned our people to nothing. Imagine that this minor, they got pregnant. And unfortunately, there will be no money to remove the, the baby. And they keep the baby. And they born the child. 
I hope you are getting the point what I'm saying now. In 20 years to come, when this child will begin to terrorize our people, you will be saying that it's your brother, but you don't know that the full and also have the one that pregnanted those minor, those child, because they are child. You understand what I'm saying? I want you people to understand that is exactly what happened in 1967 to 1970. That is what we are facing today in our land. Those that they are not part of us, you think they are. Because woman knows the father of any kid or any of their child. They know quite right who is the owner. Now you understand the kind of atrocity the Fulani, the Fulani are committing in our land. Destroying our kids. They are destroying these people. Can somebody tell me how many years they have been doing this? They are 13 years old, 14 years old. Just imagine. That is what they call pedophile. These people are pedophiles. These people are pedophiles. There is no two ways about it. Unsecondsigned people. They are torturing our child, the child of her. You see, you know, all this thing will make you people understand that whenever we speak, the mouth of man is a mouth of God. When we speak, it's authentic. There is no lie about it. That is exactly the fight we are fighting today in Biafra land. All those representatives you are seeing today, all those of governors you are seeing today, all those red caps you are seeing today in Biafra land, both hinterland and coastal region, majority of them were pregnanted, full and impregnated their mother, full and impregnated, and they know their root. They know their root. They know their root. That is why you see today, all of them have run away from marginalization. Now they are supporting also their brothers from Fulani. I, I, I hope you are getting the point. I hope you are getting what I'm saying. I hope you understand. When I tell you, or when our leader has been saying that most of them were pregnant, there's no lie about it. This will show you that everything that we are saying is true. If these people get pregnant at age of 13, at age of 14, and deliver the baby, after 20 years, when the baby will begin to terrorize your community, you will be saying that he uh, is the child of Ifani, uh, uh, you don't know that 20 years ago, a full and impregnant that, that our, our little kid. I hope you understand what I'm saying. I'm just bringing this for you all to understand. That everything that we, we are saying is authentic. No two ways about it. And there is no how you can doubt it. Good day. I welcome.